Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte. And as y'all can tell, I am not in my M3, but I'm going to go pick it up. So I dropped my M3 off at the dealership again uh, this week, and they got the steering rack in, so they replaced it. So we're going to go pick up the M3 right now. I'm going to drive it around, bring y'all along with me, and we're going to see if the actual steering rack is fixed. We're going to see, man. So hopefully it's fixed, and I can give y'all that great news, man. So let's go ahead and get to it i'm about to pull up at dealership now and when i come back i'll be back in the car all right all right everyone so i'm back in the car right now um <laughs> i just hope this steering rack is fixed i really really do man i really do hope this steering rack is fixed man so um let's go ahead and get on this drive here Looks like it went back to center pretty good on that turn. So for the, for the ones that don't know, um, the steering rack issue basically on the, on certain turning inputs, um, it just wasn't recentering correctly. So and you really noticed it when you were under own speed, um, the car just really didn't recenter and it just didn't feel correct. I would say right now it does feel pretty good, but we're gonna see, man, we're gonna see. So, so far, so good. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna put it in M1 mode, which is my sport everything mode. And we're gonna see if that works, if I don't feel it in that. Cause I really felt, I didn't feel it too much in comfort mode, but when I was in sport mode and sport plus, I really, really felt it a whole lot. So hopefully we can um, get this figured out. So hopefully it works. The sport and sport plus mode i would say so far um if steering does feel good i um, don't necessarily feel that sticking motion that i was before where it felt like somebody was holding on to the steering wheel whenever i did inputs i don't really feel it right now um, and i'm going above 50 miles per hour so usually i felt it when i was going you know pretty moderate speed is when i felt it but right now it definitely seem, seems to be recentering like it's supposed to. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put it in Sport Plus mode, my M2 setting. I'm gonna put it in that setting and let's see how it reacts to inputs in this setting. Um, in Comfort, Efficient mode, I didn't really feel anything out of the ordinary. Um, and I also didn't feel anything out of the ordinary in sport. It seemed to be working correctly as far as my inputs are concerned. So, the car definitely is aligned correctly, um, which I didn't necessarily have an issue with that before, but I can definitely, and I'm letting go on the steering wheel and the car is driving straight. So that's a good sign there too. All in all, the car seems to be riding pretty well. There's a turn coming up here very soon. Um, it's kind of an aggressive turn. So I'm gonna take that pretty aggressive, give it some steering input, and we're gonna see how the car reacts to it once I get to it. All right, so the turn is up here now. So let's see how this steering input feels. So far, so good. I'm not able to take it real aggressive because there's a little bit of traffic here. get the sticking I'm not feeling the sticking that it was I'm doing the inputs and it's recentering if I do like a little small input it kind of goes but if I do like a hard input like I used to do before and it used to stick it's not sticking anymore it is recentering so all in all it feels like it's fixed um, I'll definitely be able to know once I hit the highway because sometimes driving on the highway keeping the car to drive straight sometimes was a chore so definitely be able to see once I get back on the highway but so far so good um, I did look at the uh, the, the uh, sheet from the actual technicians um, when I had to sign it of course to get the car back um, it did look like the total cost of everything was around 4800 bucks for the, for the part and labor. Um, so I'm glad I didn't have to pay that. Thank God for the warranty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, 
that's like the price of some new pure turbos or something like that um so glad i don't have to pay that um but uh yeah um seems to be fixed man i mean feels pretty good my inputs aren't like they're recentering cars recentering it isn't sticking like it's about to fly off the road or anything like that so i feel pretty good man feel pretty good all right guys so drove the car around drove on the highway took some turns um did a lot of inputs back and forth and i don't feel the sticking no more i'm going to continue to drive the car and then i'll give you guys some feedback on um, after i've driven the car a couple days i just want to make sure that it is a okay and um i don't have the issue anymore so guys when you take when you pick up your car from the dealership please make sure you check everything uh went to dealership missing some under paneling rivets screws let them know about it run the car back picked it up this time still missing the two screws on the front so this is kind of what pissed me off just a little bit um i went and told them about the screws still being missed uh being missing um one of the managers went back there talked with someone they came back out and said that the screws are on national back order and that's the reason why they're not on they could have put some screws in there but they weren't going to be the right ones and i'm just like that should have been something that should have been told to me beforehand not something that i had to complain about and then get told about um that should have been on my work order which i did read over my work order that i got and um it wasn't up there so i don't know it kind of makes me feel like it's an excuse um, or just a cover CYA type thing. Like we'll say it's on back order, you know, X, Y, Z. And that's the reason versus the real reason is we forgot, we messed up, we'll take care of it. You know, sometimes I think it's always better to take ownership and stuff like that. When you mess up, you mess up. It is what it is, but at least let me know. Don't, um, don't give me like a side story. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't want to call anyone a liar or anything like that, but screws being on national back order is kind of a, I don't know that, that you know <laughs> um, but you know that's what they told me so i just wanted to let you guys know that but as far as the steering issue and the steering feel it does feel better it does feel better i will say that so um like i said i'm going to continue driving the car um but i just want to give you all those first impressions of me driving the car once i get the, once i got the steering rack fixed and replaced um and yeah man so the car does feel better um, I don't have any weird feelings on the highway like I did before. I don't have any weird inputs or weird sticking feeling like I did before when I drove the car before. So those those uh, sensations that I felt in the steering wheel are not present at this moment. Um, and hopefully they don't come back. So that's going to be today's video. It's going to be a quick one. Just wanted to give you guys this insight. Hopefully when you get your G80 M3s or G82 M4s, you don't have to deal with this. This has been... <laughs> not fun you know i got mods and stuff that i can't even put on the car because i want to get this had to get taken care of first so um like i said we'll drive the car around a few days so as long as it doesn't come back i'm gonna go ahead and start on some of these mods that i wanted to do that i've been holding off on because i wanted to get this fixed first so again if you like this video please like comment down below let me know what you think have you ever heard of anything like that from your dealership matter of fact if you have any dealership nightmare stories put them down below in the comments i like to read them i just like to see what everybody has went through um sometimes going to a dealership you know is you know it's kind of like a box of chocolates you never know what you're gonna get <laughs> so that's gonna be today's video and that's it man so thank y'all for watching and i'll holler at y'all later peace